Cody College is Night School with your host, Christian Pizzerani. Special guest, Reed Mia, featuring your house band, the Zoo. Here he is, Christian Pizzerani. Hello and welcome to Night School, the best show under $10. Because when you're in night school, you're probably on a budget or out of coupons. I'm your host, Christian Pizzerani. Let's get into the news. <clears throat> Sia, the eclectic singer known for her collection of hair pieces, was seen leaving Beyonce's basement without her signature wig. <laughs> now, some say the two are collaborating on a new project, but others say it was just nice for Beyonce to let Sia out once in a while. I mean, come on, let her out of the basement. In other news, Sesame Street was requested by the White House to participate in the annual Easter egg hunt only four days after announcing budget cuts affecting the program. Now, Sesame Street cast members have resorted to taking secondary jobs for money. Elmo was seen here after selling his fur. Ooh, that is, that is creepy stuff. At this time, it's unclear whether this is a preview of things in store for the show. However, new episodes of Sesame Street will air alongside with Game of Thrones on HBO. We're hoping for a lot less nudity on one of the two shows. Uh, during the Easter egg hunt, President Trump was nudged by his wife Melania, reminding him to hold his hand over his heart during the national anthem, like so. While criticized for being unpatriotic, he was just excited that he knew the song. I mean, <laughs> I forget. Anyway, a bill legalizing marijuana for medicinal purposes is expected to pass in West Virginia, a progressive move for the state, which will be the 29th state in the U.S. to decriminalize the drug. It might not help bring back coal jobs, but at least it will help you forget about your black lung. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a dark joke in more ways than one. In other news, last month a woman's headphones exploded on her way to Beijing, China. No reports yet on what brand, but some speculate it was the new Heats by Dre. <laughs> I hear the track was on fire. Yeah, on fire. Uh, what else happened in the world today? We can also talk about the Kentucky doctor who was dragged off the United Airlines when he refused to deep board an overbooked plane, which begs the question of their slogan, fly the friendly skies. <laughs> now, to be fair, they had not taken off yet, but one thing is for certain, we do not talk about Flight Club. First rule, second rule, and third rule. Of course, this wasn't the worst thing that happened this week to United Airlines. Another United Airlines passenger was stung by a scorpion hiding in one of the overhead storage bins. Now, the crew, initially shocked by the insect, was relieved to know they hadn't booted off any doctors from this flight because they needed one in tip-top shape. Anyway, thanks a lot, everyone. That was the news for now. Next up, we'll find out what's hip right after this short break. Welcome back, everyone. Please help me in welcoming our first, only, and last guest, resident young person, Gene Villa. Please come on out, Gene. We don't have a band, so. That is the theme song to a nondescript movie. Welcome, Jean. Thank you for being here. So, you know what? I, I'd love to get to know you a little bit. Tell me about yourself. Uh, my name is Jean, and I go to school at Mission College. You can't say that word here. I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jean, I got to ask yourself, do you consider yourself hip? I try to be. Mm. I really wish I was. That was? I is, am. I am? I am. Are. Yes. Grammar should be a class you take at Mission College. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but I'd love to, here's the thing, Jean. I am, uh, you know, getting a little up there in years. Mm -hmm. um, no more than 28 at this point. Never would have guessed. Uh, mm -hmm. God, trust me. So I'm a little out of touch when it comes to the terminology and words that you guys use in the millennial era, which I believe you to be in. So maybe what I would like to do is uh, I would like to throw some words at you and maybe you can help define them to me, because sure. I, I'm not sure what they mean. Are you ready for this? I can try. You can try. I will. That's all I ask. Okay, so we're going to start here. What does it mean <clears throat> to be lit? To be lit is exciting. Exciting? Exciting. So it has nothing to do with like how bright like the sun is, 
or like when you turn on the light switch in your kitchen, you don't say, hey, the kitchen's lit. No, well, the kitchen can be lit. I'm it has the fridge there. That is the littest place to me so in the kitchen. So confused. Okay, <laughs> that's great. So kitchen lit, refrigerator lit. <laughs> yes. Mind blown. I think I get it. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on to something here. Uh, what about curve? I, I've, never, I've never heard this word used in a sentence. What is curve? Curve is when, you, when someone's trying to engage in a relationship with you yes. and you don't want to, but you're way too nice of a person to say that directly to them. Yeah. You kind of just like fall off, just like don't. Kind of like you kind of slinky like curve. You, you physically just. So if someone's like scooting up next to you like in the movie theater, yeah, they, they do the one of the oh, thing, you the curve, little, the, you curve away. Yes. All right. Ah, I've gotten the curve a few times then. Hmm. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> uh, what does it mean to be woke? I don't, I guess I'm not that hip. I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. I awake? always assumed, wake? Awake. 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 I always assumed it was like, yeah, like you, you just, the first thing when you open your eyes in the morning, that's woke. And it's like crusties <laughs> and maybe, maybe a little bit of drool here. That's woke to me. We could say that's woke. I like, your, I like your definition of woke as well. <laughs> um, one that I hear quite often, but, um, but I, yet I don't hear it very often, is by Felicia. What does that mean? By Felicia is when you're done with a situation, yeah. you're done with a conversation, yeah. done with you. Oh. you sk by Felicia. By, by Felicia. With a hand. With like this? Yes, like a jellyfish. This is kind of like you just threw a pulse bomb at me or, or yeah, a and force field. Or something. And you took it back? By Whoa. Felicia. No, but my name's not Felicia. That's so okay. But you, you're going to call me Felicia gonna, instead? Yeah, that's how done I am with you. You're going to confuse the goodness out of me. Like, I don't need, bye Felicia, and I'm going to go, but why have we, okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. Um, I got one more for you. Shooketh. Shooketh. It's Shakespeare, isn't it? No. I've read a lot of Shakespeare <laughs> in my time. Uh, at least one half of a play. So it means. Like you surprised me. Therefore, out, out shooketh. Yes. Okay. A for effort. <laughs> A for effort. Uh, curse thee, O shooketh genith. Uh, well, you know what? That's great. I, I feel like we've, we've gotten to know a lot of words. I'm going to use all these, like, starting to not tomorrow. Um, maybe, maybe women maybe, will curve you now that you, you know these words. You don't need to remind me of all the curves I've got <laughs> in, in my time, so thanks. Uh, but thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to move on to the Whisper Challenge. Have you heard of this Whisper Challenge thing? I have. Where? I've never tried it. Where have you heard the Whisper Challenge? Social media. That is Are you so on? vague. <laughs> um, sure, I'm on like MySpace and... Uh, that was my favorite. What do you mean was your favorite? It's, it's not around. Oh, are you kidding me? JT tells me it is Timberlake. Timberlake. Um, <laughs> so we've got uh, a couple of... We're going to play this game, okay? <laughs> we have a couple of words, that, uh, uh, things on these cards. We, neither of us have seen these. Is that correct? No. No, it's not correct? It is correct. So you're confused. correct. <laughs> it just spit everywhere. Okay, here's what's going to happen is um, you're going to go first. Okay. I'm going to put these headphones on, and you're going to um, read a whisper, uh, what, what it says on the card, and I'm going to try and, and get it correct uh, by listening. I'm, I've got these loud headphones on here. So are you ready for, for this game? Yes. Okay, here we go. And you tell me, I guess, by you know, either doing this <laughs> or whatever move that you do to let me know I get it right. Okay. Okay. Ready? I can't hear a thing. <laughs> Bacon pancakes. Baby dolls. Bacon pancakes. Big wasted. Bacon pancakes. Pace maker. <laughs> Am I getting this right? No. Bacon pancakes. Move on. Next one. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Lock and key. Lock hearted. Lock no. and key. Lock and jest. Lock Lo and key. Lock and key. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. These, these are very loud. Uh, I'm ready. Farmer's tan. Farmer's jacket. Farmer's tan. Farmer's tan. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is loud. So I'm gonna let you okay. try it now. I'm glad. What was the first one? Bacon this, pancakes. I. Have, those aren't words. <laughs> All right. We're ready for for. You can't hear me now. Okay. Here we go. The first word is, go to sleep. Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. Go to sleep. 
don't sleep. Close. Go to sleep. Joking tree. <laughs> no, we're moving on. <clears throat> okay. Porta potty. Porta potty. Wow. Wow. Uh. One take wonder. <laughs> that was correct. That was absolutely correct. Okay. Olive juice. I love you. No. I'm gonna curve. <laughs> Just. <laughs> uh, olive juice. Olive juice. Yes. Good job. That's the only other option it could have been. Okay, last one. Shooketh. Sh sh Shakaya? That's not a word. Shooketh. Shooketh. There we go. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. That was perfect. You didn't get the first one, which what was, was go to sleep. I think what you said I like hanging tree or something. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. So um, that was great. Wow. What a fun game that was. Uh, we both tied. Maybe I think I had one more or you had one more. It doesn't really matter. We're both winners in this game <laughs> called life. So um, thank you for playing. I think that was a lot of fun. That's it for tonight. Uh, on behalf of myself, the crew, the camera guys, the guy in the back who's on the phone. <laughs> uh, wonderful job, everyone. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate your time. Goodbye. Have a good night. I'm going to wave bye because it tells me to wave bye.